Hi, welcome back. I want to show you a quick demo of Microsoft Information Protection sensitivity labels and how two users in the same organization can open the file successfully. So we have a file that's going to be protected with a sensitivity label and encrypted, but the permissions are scoped appropriately. And so our test user Megan is going to send a file to our test user Adele, also in the same organization, and you will see Adele open that file successfully. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so I have a file that has a uh, sensitivity label assigned to it, and you can see there's the sensitivity label Project Falcon. And you can see it's properly labeled and it's encrypted. We're gonna take that file and we're just gonna drop it into a private chat with Adele here in Teams and send this file to Adele. Now I'm signed in as Adele on this in private browser session, and there you can see I'm signed in as Adele. Here's a private chat with Megan. She just received the file. So now let's go ahead and open this up a little bit. And here's the file. And now we can see Adele can indeed view the file without any problem. And if I click on a sensitivity, I could see that it respects the sensitivity label as well. So that's now uh, being supported in Microsoft Teams and SharePoint Online and Office Online. And so that's an example of two employees in the same organization sending a file to each other that's protected with the sensitivity label and encrypted. Now, if we open up the compliance portal and we look at that sensitivity label, here it is, and I go to encryption under the properties, here we could see the permissions are set to Adele and Megan explicitly. And um, I've got some other things set here as well. So thus always allowing Adele or Megan to open it in the same organization. So stay tuned, I got a few more videos and demos coming on sensitivity labels in Microsoft 365. Whoa, hold on a second, don't leave yet. If you found value in this video, click on like because it really helps me out. And if you wanna see more videos, click on subscribe because I have new content being released on a daily basis across security compliance from Azure to Microsoft 365 and much more.